Or how about a little pencil drawing in this video brought to you by Squarespace. As you can see, I have a bunch of pencils here and I haven't ever even sharpened more than half of them yet. There's just such a wide range of hardnesses and softnesses in this pack I have. I eventually, I guess I'll get to all of them, but I guess uh, there's no rush. There's no rush. I like pencil drawing because I think it's because I can do the, the the nice little gradients of shading, and you can still do the crisp lines if you sharpen the pencil. And a lot of the time I don't sharpen the pencil, I just kind of let it get dull. And maybe if you want to find a sharp point on a pencil after you've been drawing with, a while, with it a while, you can just rotate it in your fingers, in your hand a little bit. Um, in other news, I just mowed my lawn for the first time this year. And I was pleasantly surprised when my lawnmower worked because the last time I tried doing this, mowing the lawn for the first time in the in the spring season, my lawnmower didn't work because I think I left old gas in it the whole fall and winter, that period when the grass stops growing so nicely. And maybe, maybe it was just a crappier lawnmower or I think... I think maybe it was because that time, th this time I went to one of the few gas stations in town, or as they say in, in England, petrol stations, or maybe a broader term is just fuel. But anyways, I went to one of the few gas stations in town that uh, sells ethanol free gas, which I think is better for the engines, maybe more specifically for the carburetor of uh, small engines like I could push lawnmower. Maybe that's why when this morning when I went to mow the lawn, I, the f very first pull on the, you know that cord you pull on to start the engine, I it, it just started right up and I did not expect it to. If it was gonna start, I expected it to at least take a few frustrating pulls, like maybe like three or four. In my experience, if it takes more than three or four three or four pulls you get into the territory of like flooding the engine and then you got to wait a while or I, I'm not an expert with engines and gas and stuff like that. But anyways, all I know is that I'm happy it worked. My hands are still kind of tingly from pushing it around from the vibration of it. But it was kind of, uh, <clears throat> my, lawn, my lawn was kind of chunky. The grass was thick and um, there were, I have one of those cursed sweet gum trees that drops those spiky balls everywhere and so for those patches of my lawn it sounded like I had the, the lawnmower so, kind of sounded like a popcorn machine with like rocks in it but I wasn't I wasn't about to like rake or something before mowing I don't care that much it seemed to work anyways just kind of mowed right through it all it was a little hippity hoppity pippity poppity but yeah I got it done and there's something kind of satisfying about mowing the lawn I'm not a big fan of lawns because it seems like a lot of work for kind of a pointless thing but I definitely like mowing my own lawn better than I liked mowing my lawn when I was a little kid when my parents made me do it mostly because they said it had to be done every Saturday even when it didn't look like I need it but now I can wait for when the grass is tall enough and I can tell where I've mowed or not and it's much more satisfying. Plus, maybe there's just a little bit more personal investment, personal ownership mentally in it this way. Also, a little sponsor doodle here. Make sure you check out Squarespace. Look through all the cool templates they have to get you started with a website. Look at all the features they have for what you could put on your website. They have many different options and modules you can add, calendar sections, e-commerce options, very smooth looking galleries, which you can uh, import a lot of content from your different social media things like stuff you uh, post on Instagram. I have my Instagram on there. You can just you know look on my, my website, scroll through my Instagram or all my art that I've scanned in. I have all galleries of stuff on there, so you should consider doing that. And when you wanna make your own, go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash peterdraws for 10% off your first website or domain. 
in still other news, I recently did this cool thing called going to a metal scrapyard. This is part of a class I have at school called, it's a, it's a metal sculpture class where we make metal sculptures by welding things. And one of our assignments right now is to make a sculpture out of stuff we get from the scrapyard. And the one we went to is called D.H. Griffin. Apparently these scrapyards where you, you know, just like regular people can go to and, you know, comb through the scrap, per, you know, is it, pretty rare now because uh, th there's a whole big section of the scrapyard where there's just huge piles of metal scrap and you can't go there because there's these huge machines, like giant machines with huge claws or big magnets on the end of them with big mechanical arms. Look, this was very cool for me to look at. I, I don't know, I love this kind of stuff. Like, imagine, you know, the movie Wally, uh, where he's like, his job is to like go around in these little, tr in these massive trash piles. It's kind of like that. I know in that movie it's supposed to be kind of dystopian, but I don't know. I love it. A lot of my drawings in the past have been <laughs> weirdly inspired by trash piles. And these were very inspiring. But apart from that giant section with the huge piles of metal scrap that we couldn't go to. Um, because I, th I think what happens is maybe like these those big piles just get shipped off to China or something. And that's the way most scrapyards have gone to. Because that's where all the money is. Just selling it in bulk. But it's I guess it's, from what I've gathered talking to people, it's pretty rare that there's this other section of the scrapyard where... You can go in, grab, you know, other scrap. Like there's, um, sometimes it's, it's organized just by like, you know, these are pipes, this is sheet metal, or sometimes like I got this big, there was these big bins full of like valves for pipes that were, that each, each one of these valves weighed like 50 or a hundred or 200 pounds, or there was like a few old, um, you know, like fire trucks in there, old school buses, a whole section with just cars. I know that is common for there to be like pick apart scrapyards for finding car parts. Uh, just, just this, all these, cra all this crazy machinery, very inspiring for me just because I love machinery, especially old bent twisted machinery. So I'm just wandering around in there, poking through everything, standing on top of it, climbing through it. And I didn't find, you know, it's, you know, I wanted to take everything home, but they sell it per pound, and you have to f have a way to get it home too. My my professor that took us all as a class, we all had to, you know, he he has a pickup truck and a trailer, so we had to all pop it on there. So, and I had to I had to be able to get it onto the trailer and the truck. So, you know, some things that were bigger than me that I wanted, it just wasn't practical. But I just gotta say, it was cool. I don't know how to explain it, but. It's kind of one of those things where it's like, yeah, scrapyard sounds cool, but then you go, and it's just amazing. Yeah. <laughs> right now, talking about it sounds kind of dumb, but let me tell you, it was awesome, okay? So many random bits of machinery and engine parts that I didn't even know what they did. They're just lying there. I was just like poking them and climbing on top of them. Just trying to absorb it all into my brain so I can regurgitate it onto the paper or, you know, through other mediums of art now that I'm doing, like sculpture and stuff later. Oh, I'm definitely going back, though, because it's free to go. You know, looking at, looking is free. It's the taking the stuff that costs money. So maybe I'll just go and hang out there sometimes. Be a good place to just do, like, sketching. Anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. This drawing... Yeah, I like to mix up with pencil drawing sometimes. I'll probably do it some more. Hope you're all doing all right. Hope you're hanging in there, chilling, making it through life. You're going to be okay. I believe in you, all right? If I'm if I'm making it, you can do it. My throat hurts right now, which maybe is why my voice sounds weird, but <clears throat> it's getting better little by little. All right, goodbye.